Hi, this is Pat Moorhead with More Insights and Strategy, and I am in Wellington, Florida at the Winter Equestrian Festival, the longest running horse show in the world. And I'm here with Jeffrey Schaub, uh, CEO and founder of Nightwatch, which is literally uh, the coolest um, uh, technology that I've ever seen for horses, if not all animals uh, in a whole. So Jeffrey, thanks for uh, talking with me. Absolutely, well thanks for the opportunity, Pat. Yeah, what, so what is this? What are you doing yes. with Nightwatch? So Nightwatch, very simply, is an early warning system for colic, which is the leading natural cause of death in horses, and other forms of distress. Now, unlike our cats and dogs, which live with us, horses are largely unsupervised overnight. And unfortunately, many, many horses, on average 150 horses every day, will die of this condition called colic, largely overnight when they're unsupervised. 150 a day? 150 a day. It's hard to imagine. It is. Yeah. And so we had a personal loss four and a half years ago where we lost a horse, um, despite there being two caretakers on the property. And we knew that there was technology coming that could be integrated into a better solution and be our eyes and ears when we physically can't be with our horses. Gosh, it's one of those ideas that's like, I can't believe we don't have this already, and particularly with the inv uh, with the investment that goes into some of these uh, awesome animals. It's really mind blowing. It really truly is. And every day, people stop us here at the booth in Wellington or others, and are just surprised this hasn't been out yeah. because the need is so obvious and apparent. And this truly is uh, the world's first and only um, edge computing. AI driven mobile adaptive sensor that can alert you at the earliest signs of a problem in your world. So you literally used every awesome buzzword that I write about. <laughs> uh, so it sounds like you're in a good space. Can you talk a little bit about uh, a little bit about the use case and how uh, owners and barns would use this? Sure. Um, it's as I'm holding here. This is the brain, if you would. This sits inside of the crown of an all-leather halter, which is designed by Friedman Harness out of Toronto, Canada, um, or a collar. Okay. And it's more similar to ADT for your horse's health than any Fitbit or activity tracker. And what I mean by that is it gathers real-time information on the animal's biometrics, so specifically heart rate and respiratory rate. Okay. Gathers information on activity, posture, and motion. And believe me, we did not crack the code to solving what is equine collar or what is equine foaling. What we do exquisitely well is understand your horse's normal physiology, okay. look for deviation that likely correlates with pain or distress. And so through that real-time um, AI-driven platform, um, we can save a lot of animals' lives. That's awesome. Uh, I've gotten a preview, obviously, of the deep tech that, that's involved not only on the cloud side, but also on the edge compute side. Can you tell me just a little bit about, I mean, you have more wireless in this than, than my latest and greatest smartphone. It's, it's true, <laughs> it's remarkable. One of the biggest challenges is how do you get all this great technology in a form factor that is mobile, non-invasive, and yet still regulatory compliant. This has been evaluated for um, safety as well as compliance by the FCC, yeah. the Canadian equivalent IC, um, as well as um, the IEC 60590 um, safety. So in this, there are five pods. Three of them can contain lithium polymer batteries that are rechargeable, and the other pods contain four different printed circuit boards, that some of which are eight layers. Oh my and gosh. so it has ultra wideband radar, um, technology for assessing the biometrics. It has GPS, it has a 3G cellular radio, it has Wi-Fi, it has everything in the kitchen sink except for the faucet itself. Yeah, so um, you can't use green laser uh, on a horse because it has a lot of fur, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, which is what led us to look for other solutions and we learned of ultra wideband radar, which candidly has been around for 30 years. It's just never truly right. been applied in a real world use case. Um, it's mostly been used by uh, military applications for looking through walls to yeah. say, what is behind this wall? Interesting. Uh, certifications must have been a challenge. That's a word, yes. Yeah. It was a long challenge. This whole journey's been four and a half years, but more than 12 months of it was a regulatory yeah. journal um, journey, I should say and just happy to have it behind us. That's great. So uh, you've, you've announced the product. 
but you have a very important milestone uh, coming up. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So on Thursday, April 26th of this year, we will officially launch this product and it will be available to horses in the U.S. and Canada. As equestrian lovers probably recognize that date is the first day of the Kentucky three-day event in Lexington. So we are looking forward to a lot of excitement and proof of principle. Um, we have been on this journey for four and a half years and people know about it, they just want it. Yeah, so you're already shipping to the first people who bought this, right? And you're gathering all the data and kind of optimizing your algorithms at this point? Exactly, we have a over 100 units in the field right now among 63 different beta test sites across the US. And we also have um, a few other pro bono units with some of the highest Olympic riders even here in Wellington using them now at this point. So yes, we it's technology. Is it perfect today? Absolutely not. Will it ever be perfect? Yeah. No. Um, anyone who tells you it's perfect means they've given up. And yeah. so we will constantly refine this and we're refining algorithms. And I view this as a shoehorn to the data. We really want to be a data science company yeah. to do better predictive analytics for the benefit of these animals we want. Well, I know that, uh, so my wife and two daughters, as you know, ride and uh, my wife's looking forward to using this herself uh, to kind of come from the horse horse, uh, horse owner standpoint. So I can't wait to get it. So uh, thanks so much for your time. And I cannot wait to see when this gets out fully and you guys can start ramping with uh, the demand. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. thanks. This is uh, Patrick Moorhead with More Insights and Strategy and Jeffrey Schaub uh, from Nightwatch. Thanks.